Hold up. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Here we go again. Another Thursday lunchtime episode two. Twit lunchbox in the lunch truck, and we just uh, made our stop at a Dunkin', where I don't know what the hell lunchbox ordered, but uh, this this is some strange coffee I'm drinking right now. Oh my gosh! Yeah, so you're probably not gonna make that. Right. Sure, mate. I think this is. I think my coffee is pistachio. Oh, this is cookie dough and pistachio. Like, this is what nightmares are made of. I've never thought of combining cookie dough and pistachio in a coffee. I had thought pistachio coffee is a horrible idea to begin with. So mixing it with cookie dough just makes it so much more worse. I hate you. I don't know what the hell you ordered. I don't know how the hell you messed this up. Hey, mine's got, mine's just pistachio. It's oh, well, oh, mine, mine is everything. Hey, is she waving at me? She was. Oh, she was. Yeah, she was. Right, maybe she likes your shoes, bro. Yeah, probably. This is cookie dough and pistachio. Oh my god. All right, so you want to fucking get rid of it? No. It's okay. coffee. I'm gonna drink it. That was good. Huh? Right. It's just the strangest coffee I've ever had in my entire life. Oh, before we get really going, I want to give a shout out to a uh, Mad Dog. Mad Dog Robinson. Mad Dog Robinson. Brother sent us an email earlier, so uh, I told him I give him a shout out. So what's up? And this has sugar in it. Awesome. Oh my god! So is mine. I know. <laughs> it's so sweet. I gotta stop doing that. Oh, look like at deer. What do you see? Oh shit, it's a deer. It's a big. It's a Bambi. Speaking of Bambi, me and Judo were driving around yesterday, actually coming back from Duncan, and they got, you know, one of those minivans with the little flip down TV thing. And oh. Yep, yep. I was we're sitting there watching it, and we're like, what's that? We're trying to see what, uh. Was it Bambi? It was Bambi. Yes. And guess what scene it was? Uh, scene where. Bambi's mother dies. Yep, I almost cried. It was so depressing. We're sitting in the game. It's like, oh, look, it's Bambi. We go, we go there. All I see is orange. I'm like, wait, what? I see them. I see deer drop. I'm like, no. We get close. See where Bambi's mom dies. I'm like, you know what? Even at age 24, that's right in the fields, bro. That's right. Right in the fields. That's where you you, you would send that gif of uh, Pikachu and Caterpie. I like that. I never saw that before. Oh, the one where he taps on the back? Yep. Yeah. I did not see that before. Alright, so we're gonna go eat. Where are we gonna go eat? This is another fun-filled adventure on another Thursday. It's beautiful out. Right. Oh, it's so nice out. Uh, I was gonna check the... Uh, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, though. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. My guess would be Daryl, unfortunately. It's so, also my guess. It's a good guess. Yeah, it's a very good guess. So me and all the other preteen girls can cry. You know, the, the, the Dixon Vixens. Right. We can all cry. I'll start a fan page. We can mourn our uh, character. Part of Dixon Vixens? No. Fine. I don't want to be part of it. You want to be part of it? Nope. It's right in the fields, bro. It hurts. It's no bueno. God, pistachio swirl is delicious. It's not delicious. Not when it's got cookie dough in it, too. Man, it's probably real shitty. It's, it's very shitty, actually. Thank you for noticing. Plus, the sugar makes it sweet as hell. Okay. I'll be diabetic by the end of this coffee. So, only problem I had with last week's episode was uh, the end when fucking Dwight is holding the gun to Daryl. Oh. And he's like, don't worry, bro, you'll live. And then we assume he shoots him somewhere. He's got a blood splatters right on all the TV, right, right. Yeah. So the only problem was he was fucking holding the gun with his fucking middle finger as the trigger finger. Really? Yeah. Of all things that, that's, yeah, that's yeah. bothering. I don't know who the fuck taught him how to shoot a gun, but did a real shitty job about it. Well, he's carrying a crossbow for the, more, the you know the better part. What does he shoot the crossbow with? You gotta check that out. What if he shoots it with the middle finger? Well, then he's fucking retarded. Half his face is burned off, dude. Maybe he lost some brain cells. You're fucking, you're holding it's your finger. It's experience. Over the fucking, mm. out of the barrel. It fucking slides back. It could catch your finger. It could fucking, there's so many things that can go wrong. He's an idiot. I don't 
hope he fucking dies. That's deep. That's really deep. Tell me how you really feel, though. How do I feel? <laughs> like a moron. Oh, man. Oh, what's up, GL550? Oh, prestige. It's not what it was. By the way, you lost coffee ordering privileges. Yeah, I know. Pretty it's the bad. second week <laughs> in a row you screwed up. I have pretty bad at it for some reason. You filmed two episodes, you screw up both of them ordering coffee. That's that's good. That's really good. Uh And New Jersey taxes? I do not, actually. What? I do not. How do you do how do you not? I don't know. I just don't. Oh, you're fucking up somewhere. I'm not. I'm not getting hit with New York or New Jersey. Uh, I'm getting hit with New Jersey. I think I'm getting hit with New York taxes only. Only New York taxes? I believe so. It's weird. I gotta I haven't checked my pay stub and I don't know how long it's direct deposit, so it just goes right to my account. Well, yeah, but when you did your t you did your taxes already, right? Nope. Well, that's why you wouldn't know. Well, there you go. Not doing it for another two weeks. Why? I don't know. It's just how, how it's playing out. Uh, all right, when you, uh, answer. when you do your taxes, see if you get New York and New Jersey Oh, I probably will. Different. Yeah. Oh, most likely. Right. I'm just saying I'm going to pay stuff, I don't know. Oh, no, no, you're not your pay stuff. Yeah. I'm going to pay stuff, I don't know. Yeah, and your I tax see you, taxes. yeah. Oh, I will. Yeah, see? Which is why we should fucking move to New York. Why? Guys, do you think we should move to New York? That's that's the question. Do you not let New us know York in the city. I've, 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 Fuck me on your own city. in New York City. I would never go to New York City. One, that's way too far from my job. Exactly. Two, I hate driving in the city. You see how angry I got when we went to Boston? Yeah. It doesn't work well. Yeah. For all the viewers out there, we live in... Upper Bergen County. We are 15 minutes from the New York border, like Piermont, Nyack area. So if you want to come kidnap us, good luck. I'm a fat guy. I'm real hard to move. I'm very easy to convince. I once got... No, we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about that. The minivan? You were there for that? I was there. We're not going to talk about it. No. Maybe we should. We should let them know right, let how them much know. of an idiot I am. Let them know. You want to tell stories? I know you love telling all the stories about every time I screw up in my life. Sure, we were fucking, we were hanging out. It's my first birthday, actually. We were come, yeah, we were coming back from the bar. All right. Yeah, we were coming back from the bar. We are walking by, it was the middle of the day, we are a bunch of alcoholics. What? Yes. What's the next one at night? No. Was that night? Bro, it was like five o'clock. When you got into that girl's van? Yeah. Two girls. Pete. It's Pete. It's a great song. Pete oh, yeah, yeah. initially did it. Don't throw me under the bus. Hey, it was two chicks though, right? It was. Oh, I thought it was like at nighttime this happened. It was not at nighttime. It was like late afternoon. After. Alright, anyway. So, these two girls roll up in a fucking minivan. We have no clue who they are. Never seen them a day in our life. Never seen them before in our life. Never nope. seen them afterwards either. Yeah, I have. And, uh, I, I, they just started talking to us. I don't really remember. Joe by and screamed, you're hot. Uh, Alright, there you go. And then they came back around like very slow and like creepy in right. a minivan, so it was already like super creepy. Yeah. And uh, so we're like we're sitting there, and I, I don't really remember how the conversation went, but um, our other friend he doesn't really have a, a code name or whatever you want to call it. Anyways. So we're gonna call him Pete. I'm sure all my uh, Twitch viewers know Pete very well. Oh, dude, Pete's alias is Pony Boy. We can call Pony Boy. They don't know it. Well, it is Pony now Boy. Pete is Pony Boy. And for those of you who don't know why we call him that, you should go watch the movie Outsiders. Anyway, so Pony Boy goes up to the van, starts talking to him, and we're literally down the street from my house, which we were walking to. Literally, I mean, like it couldn't have been more than like 20 feet. Yeah, probably not. And they're like, "Do you want to ride?" Something like that. I don't really know why. Or what yeah, something that extent. Yeah, it was something similar. I don't really know. And uh, so he goes, oh, you'll drive me down the street? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he gets in, 
I'm just sitting there with the door open. I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm pretty buzzed, a little bit drunk. You know what? I'm going to get in the car too. You know, beats walking the extra. So they take off past my house and we just keep driving. So now me and Pony Boy are stuck in a car with two people. We have no idea who the hell Didn't they are. Did you jump out of the van? Uh, no. We just sat there like. So then who was I with? You were with Frank. Was I? Yes. And uh, driving around, and they're talking to us about like, and then they start talking about the last time they did this. And at that point, it was just very strange because me and Pony Boy are looking at each other like, well, why did we do this? What what is going on? So I mean, they were obviously like, I don't know, I don't know. I think they were like a year or two younger or something. Yeah, so, I mean, they were old enough to drive. So. That's true. When they were 21. I hope they'd be old enough to drive. That'd be really creepy. Highly illegal. Anyway, so we're sitting in the middle of the van, just sitting there looking at each other like, all right, what's going on? So he's starting the conversation. And uh, I'm just sitting there thinking like, I don't, I don't really know what I thought. I was just sitting there and he's looking at me like, help me. <laughs> Fuck out of this. No, yeah, we're like, we need to get out because they're talking about the last time they did that. And then they like, went to some baseball field and hooked up with the, I don't even want to know what the heck they did. I don't know, you went behind the bus. There's three buses over here. So we're driving around. I'm like, yo, let's go to Duncan. So we go to Duncan and we're texting. I don't know if it was you or Frank, but we're texting two other people. I'm like, yo, pick us up. Get us out of here. Code red. Hootie who? And um, you guys said not to answer and put LOL. So uh, you guys are laughing at our misfortune. And I got a coffee out of it. I'm pretty sure it was free coffee, so I wasn't complaining. Uh, and it wasn't cookie dough and pistachio flavored either. It was actually regular cream only iced coffee, which was amazing. And uh, so, basically, we're sitting there, they're driving around again, passing the house, and he just opens the door, and they start slowing down to yell at him, and he jumps out. That's what it was. Yep. So, I quickly jumped out with him, and um, I don't really remember what was said afterwards, but they took off, and uh, now it's a story of we don't really know what happened. The scary part is, like a week or two later, they came to where I was working at the time to talk to me, and I don't even know how the hell they found out I was working there, which was very strange. So, that's the story about how uh, me and Pony Boy got Yeah, we brought that up, but I'm sorry you got brought up. Anyway, let's talk about some things on a more positive note. Like where we're gonna go eat? Yeah, that would be extremely helpful. That's kind of it's kind of what you know. Lunchtime. I'm sitting here. What is it? It's two o'clock right now. I'm like starving. Like blue moon. Why is blue moon so bad? I just want some fucking. I want some nachos. Why? You can get nachos anyway. You can get nachos at 7 Eleven if you want to. I don't really want to go to those nachos. We go to Applebee's, that's up here. You know what? I can get down with some Applebee's. Alright, Applebee's it is. Alright, we're going to Applebee's. So, I don't think they know, but they're lucky enough to possibly get two or three videos of lunchtime this week. Be more, might be more like brunch time. Doesn't matter. It's still Depending gonna be called lunchtime. lunchtime. I don't care if you go out time. at two in the morning. It's still gonna be called lunchtime. Right. But also, one of our uh, episodes of lunchtime. I mean, it's gonna be called lunchtime no matter what we're doing. Mainly because we got lunchbox over here. He's he's kind of the uh, the backbone to the title. So. We will be, well first off, we're going to make a Skype so we can video chat with these guys, we'll put them on the channel. I don't know if I brought that up to you. We're going to make a what? Skype, a video chat with you. Questions and answers, Q&A. How are we going to do that? How are you going to do that? Simple. We own a computer with a webcam, we own a laptop with a webcam, anything with a webcam. Okay, alright. Yeah. I can't go in your house. I'm allergic to your cats. You have a laptop, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, but it hasn't been turned on in like four years.
years. And then one of them was used just strictly for porn. So I probably should. And there that. he goes. Should um, not use that one. Maybe we could. I think it'd be pretty cool having those pop-ups. No, no, it's not like pop-ups. Like it had like a weird effect. Like you'd be watching a video and like ten seconds into the video would get all like I don't know, like mechanical and robotic and shit, make really weird noises. Like the Terminator. He was trying to kill you. He was judging that. Could be. Could very well be. But yes. Doesn't matter. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna video chat with these people. Okay. Q and A. Say what's up. Beauty of a Jeep driving up on people's lawns. That's right. Lunch truck. Anyway. So. Speaking of which, where's Judah? Well, I don't care. I can go back and get him. Can you pick me up? If you're still around. I. his show. It might be. Yeah, yeah it he, is. He was saying that, like, he picked up Chris Rock up in Alpine and went to the fucking, like, Starbucks in Westwood or some shit. Well, it's a good thing we weren't making videos. You sit there. You know, be in that video, they'd be in our... Yes, I do. Probably Amanda Oz with us, too. Yeah, I told you all of this. Apparently, she has two kids. She does. And there's a crazy backstory behind it. Nice. I don't feel comfortable saying it on camera to you. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, and we got the GameStop here. So we stopped by and um, absolutely not buy anything. No, we're not. Books and greetings. You want to go there and uh, meet Jason Fry? No. Who's Jason Fry? Not a clue. I don't know, but it says Star Wars. Oh. Ooh. 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 Alright guys, so we're gonna go in. Since I don't have the Twit Vision equipment yet, you can't uh, come with us on this journey to go have some Applebee's. So, we will see you momentarily. And uh, we'll be right back. We're gonna enjoy our food. And uh, yeah, hope, hope this food's actually good. Yeah, it'll be delicious. Awesome. Catch you guys later. Alright guys, we're back. Had some uh, amazing, amazing lunch. Got Applebee's. Applebee's. Buffalo wings, hell yeah. I had mozzarella sticks and chicken fingers, quite tasty. Yep. But just so we didn't feel like kids, I got a Budweiser and he got Miller on draft. Original. Not Miller Lite. Even worse. Miller original is pretty good. It is. It's like a regular, just like fucking Miller. Yes. Or a nice MGD. Yes. Throw it back there. MGD house. is awesome. Back when I ran the tables at Beer Pong. Yeah, whatever. 
You can't guys, deny that. You guys practiced. No, we didn't practice. Yeah, you did. We did not practice. We fucking practiced. We did not practice. We're yeah. just natural talent. Yeah, sure. Natural talent, oh my god. Pure natural talent. Alright, we're gonna uh we're gonna try a uh, scenario, I guess. I'm gonna give a scenario to you guys and answer in the comments if you want to, if you don't want to, you know, whatever. I don't give a shit. It's having a, a group text message with some friends of mine. And one of the friends, she has a son, nine years old. Apparently, he told a girl on the playground, he said, fuck you. And the mother is freaking out because that's something a nine year old should not be saying. So, uh, you know, I want to know what the worst thing you guys said at nine. Because if I had just said fuck you at nine to some other girl on the playground, probably not the worst thing I'd said at nine years old. It's definitely not the worst definitely thing. Definitely not at the nine. worst thing you said at nine years old. No. So, you know, let me know the worst thing you guys have said when you were nine years old. Or ten, you know, far far back can you remember. And I'll give that a try. Put it in the comments. Fucking Twitch over here, let me know what the word is. Or I'll check the comments out of my own. You know, I'll make a word of the day out of it. Nah. I will try to use it fluently. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do a word of the day. I mean, I would love to, whatever they, the worst thing they said at 10, I would love to use it on like some has like jogger or bicyclist going by. No, oh, well, apparently what you gotta do then is get a uh, fucking I don't know, it's this thing I saw. Oh, this guy put a, a fucking train horn in his car. Yeah, I just horn. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was some very loud. It was some company that does it though. We could do that in this. I don't remember what it was called. Yeah, it's actually shit, fairly though. easy. We also had a fucking intercom. We had that in um the, the Crown, Crown Vic, yeah. Yeah. But he and was also great. Yeah. And I played uh, ice cream music out of it. And probably a pedophile. Uh, maybe maybe it's possible. I don't know. But yeah. Played ice cream music over the intercom. That was awesome. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He, he's a, uh, or maybe he still is, was, whatever you want to call it. Back in the day, this is years ago. And he, he's a uh, volunteer firefighter, and he had, you know, Crown Vic, which is basically a car for those you don't know. Regular cop car, nothing too fancy. And he had the lights, the intercom, the scanner. He had all that stuff. A big dick. He pulled people over and oh, shit yeah, like that. Pulled, yeah, you know, we did that yeah. quite a few times. He actually got yeah. out. Big cop like, sucking dick. Like, sitting down in the passenger seat, he's over there reading some dude like I don't even know, talking about the speeding shit. I'm like, what an idiot. He's probably reading his Miranda's Miranda rights. I believe it is. Uh, yeah, that's if you're getting arrested. Yeah. I don't know. What are we listening to? We're Springsteen, bro. I feel like I should have known that. You should have. You're from New Jersey. Yeah, I should have known, known that. Darn to that song, actually. Yeah, I mean, it's not an obscure song of his, but like, yeah. it's called Rosalita. Classic. Yep. Let's see what, what fun shenanigans. See, I would tell more stories about what, what happened in that cop car that he had. Yeah. But that's the type of shit that... that I'm that's sure I, I once played porn out of the intercom. You did. You did. Because he had the fucking laptop set up. Yep, you Jesus. did. Yep. Yep, I forgot all about that. Oh, yeah. I did. Oh, well, yeah. A lot of moaning and blasting through the streets. Uh, quiet lot streets. Of, lots of moaning. Uh, yeah. Going downtown, pound town. I don't think I knew that. It's frightening me. Pretty sure that cop over there will pull you up. Say that in his town. Pretty sure he can't. Freedom of speech, son. Say whatever I want to. Yeah. By the way. 
I had my first uh, shive experience. Ooh, did you now? I did, I did. I was on Facebook and apparently there was a suggested book. This is perfect for what I'm about to say too. <laughs> nice, what was it? It was a towel thread. Oh god, towel Thursdays? So It good. might have been. Oh my yo, today's Thursday. I know, but they don't really do towel Thursdays all the time. <laughs> they That's used to do oh no, their best things that bounce Thursday. Once That's what I'm talking you about. You see that booty bounce, booty bounce. Yo. You need to play it. I learned how to play like a saxophone or whatever it was. Got it. I wish. And I'll, I'll play the oven. Oh, uh, you play the uh, the trombone. Trombone, there you go. I wish I could play the saxophone. Underrated instrument. It's a great song. It's a good one. It's a good one. Awesome. Sound dancing in fluid. Sound dancing. Dude has a Coke dispenser in his garage. What the hell? Nice. Like a soda machine. Oh my god. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, I, I can use your glove box as the oven. I got this. Am I gonna break it in there? I don't wanna break it. Should I fix it? <laughs> That's what I need. I was getting way too long. Yeah, me too. I hate you. There's a hot girl on a smart car. What? That doesn't exist. Attractive and ecologically friendly. That's what I can do. Yo, Walker Stalker. Are you coming? What is it? December 3rd and 4th, in Edison. Mm, what day is it this one? Friday and Saturday? Saturday and Sunday, I'm sorry. Saturday and Sunday, Friday. I have to double check. The 3rd and the 4th. Maybe. I was gonna fucking grow my hair out and actually go dressed up as Daryl. No, I'm not going. I'm not doing that anymore, though. But everyone dresses up when they go there. It's like a Comic-Con thing. Yeah, I don't shit. It's awesome. I would totally do it. You guys think I should do it? Goes Daryl Dixon. Grow my hair out. You can go into a comic book Axel. Yes. Axel was weak as shit in the fucking TV show. That's why I said comic book Axel. I mean, he was pretty weak in the comic book too. He didn't last very long, but he was pretty honest. True. Full so, beard. Right. Fucking fat jacked. Exactly. So I gave you the opportunity to be him. I'm not doing that. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I'll go and make fun of everybody in costume. Oh. They had a zombified Hooters girl. Horrifying. No. No, it was actually the complete opposite. No. No, oh, it was. That's necrophilia. It's not necrophilia. Yeah, it is. It's not. Because it, it wasn't like the, the full nine yards. Not okay. Not, yeah, it's not inappropriate. It's not inappropriate. What do you mean inappropriate? It's appropriate. Very appropriate. Completely appropriate. I feel like we've seen that guy at the bar. That UPS driver? It's plausible. Uh, I've definitely like, drank with him before. I'm pretty sure I 
I said this multiple times. Rob Schneider's throw it under here. Not right. I've definitely said it. I give it the business. Yeah. I'd see some assist. No, they don't know about that because they, they, they weren't there for a long time. Not there for our lovely uh, lunch conversation. It's a good one. You showed me a video that scarred my life. Did you get the glasses? I, yeah, I'm waiting for the glasses. The glasses were supposed to be here last week. Amazon's playing. They don't want to give me nothing. Like, we know exactly what this guy's gonna do. We've seen his videos, it's up to no good. Don't send it to him. Postpone right. as long as we can. He is up to no good. He's up to no good. He's got some shenanigans up his sleeve. Evil shenanigans. Shenanigans. Hey, Barbara. <laughs> what's that uh, Irish restaurant you like with all the. Uh, uh, you just, what's that place? You that restaurant you like with all the shit on the wall? Definitely doggy drops. I forgot all about that scene until you sent that to me. Yeah. I haven't seen Super Troopers in a while. You know the second one comes out this year? Yeah, no, I'm oh, excited. I can't wait. Oh my god. It's going to be awesome. I think it's going to be pretty good too. Get it on to this song. You should pretty much you should push, you should just like turn your dick and you're not using it. That's deep. Yep. That's deep. Very deep. Panty drop song. It is. The lunch truck That's itself right. is panty dropper. Yeah, right. This song, when we need intercom for this. Play this through the intercom. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Pimp Daddy Lunchbox. Right. True story. Not of course. Oh. We're the Manchester United. guarding some guy and right before they kick the ball off he fucking grabs the guy's dick what yeah god that's not fair play it's not fair play Tech 
quit the talk to you. He's got that. He's got it all figured out. All of it. Oh, man. Get out of the way. Move, bitch. Get out of oh. the way. Oh, and we hop in curves again. Nope. In the Jeep. Nope. Oh, all right. No, just still hop in the curb anyway, though. Just want you to know that. to that guy's grill. That was strange. That's like a shitload of acreage back there, too, so I'm almost telling me. Oh, yeah, make a lot of money. Of course. Well, there's probably banking on it. Free air at this place. Good to know. There's also free air at... Oh, uh, where is it? Never mind, it's a quarter. I lied. Don't listen to me. Oh, shit. It's another one I'd give the business to. Cash not Are you sure? Yeah. I was thinking Pitbull. I thought you were thinking Pitbull. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm pretty sure Kesha has her own problems with that right now, so. She does. That's probably not the thing she wants to hear. Probably not. She can still get the back. Yeah, she can. Easily. Yeah, yeah give Kesha props. She's going through a pretty shitty time right now, apparently. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll take her side. We'll take her side. We'll take her side. And then her back side. Alright, that was a pro for you. So uncalled for. We're gonna get Timber! That's right, sometimes I forget that we're filming this. What? Sometimes I forget we're filming this. Yep. What a bitch, you will. Yep. Better dance. Oh. 
Yeah, we got some karaoke up in this drive. Goddamn right. We can on a level. Lunchbox karaoke. Boom. Karaoke with lunchbox. What? Uh -oh. I think I'm pulled over. Sure am. Yep. Nice. Probably turn that off for now. Yeah, you should probably turn it off. Alright, guys, we're back. No, we're not. We're not back.